Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to build your channel header for the new YouTube one channel layout. Now, if you've been to your YouTube channel lately, you've probably seen a, a text line at the top of your channel saying that you need to move to new channel design. And then it says click the link to find out more. Now, when you click that link, it'll take you to a page like this that says introducing your YouTube one channel. There's lots of information on the page, probably too much information because they really don't tell you much. But if you scroll down, you can see where it says get specifications for making channel art. Now, this is very important, so you want to click that link. When you click that link, you'll see there is a graphic that has uh, different areas on it drawn out. Now, this is the size of the channel art that YouTube recommends. It's a 2120 by 1192 PX. But it can be confusing when you look at it because it says you need something this size, but this is the logo safe area, and then there's a desktop max. What's important is you do want to download this, so you want to click that and it'll download that file. Now, after you download it, you can open it in Photoshop and create your channel art. I'll show you how to do that. This is Photoshop Elements, and I've opened the channel template that YouTube provided us, and you can see what it looks like. Basically, you need to open a new file that's 2120 by 1192 and make your logo and other elements fit in within these boxes. I'll show you what I mean. This is the one that I've created, and I made all the little pieces fit in the box. Now, let me show you how I created my design. First thing I did is I opened a new Photoshop file and sized it to the 2120 by 1192 that YouTube recommends. This is the background that I put on that file. Now once I had the background there, I drug up the channel art specifications and overlaid it onto the background. And then I changed the opacity of that so that it was relatively low and it allowed me to see where the text and logo safe area was on the page. And now that I could see the text and logo safe area, I could bring my elements onto the page and line them up with these bars right here. And this is what I ended up creating. Now you can see the logo is almost centered on the screen instead of being where the far left where you would expect it to be. And these elements underneath are not really lined up the way that they should be. That's because on this template that YouTube provides you, they don't tell you everything. For example, they don't tell you that your icon image is going to be right there on the template. So if your text is over there, it's going to overlay it. And they also don't tell you that the link to your website is going to be down here. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is what my new channel art looks like on YouTube. Now you notice the channel art that I showed earlier had a lot more things going on. Did not have my photo right there and did not have a link here. And if you were to build your channel art using what YouTube shows you, you probably would have your text further over and it would be underneath your photo. And something else that you, that you may not pick up immediately from YouTube is that if you resize this page to where it's smaller, notice how everything pushes over. Now, had I had my logo lined up right here in the box, just like the YouTube template shows, if I would have had it right there, what would have happened would be my icon picture would lay on top of my logo. That wouldn't look good at all. So after you create your graphic art and upload it to your site, you want to make sure that you resize your screen by doing this to see how things move. Now, as I resize, you can see in this area right here that it's moving. So if you create this on a wide screen and don't check it on a narrow screen, you may discover that your logo and all your artwork hides underneath your image or the link to your site may override some of the text you have here. So you do have to play with it a little bit to make it work. Now to get it to work on your site is pretty easy to do. Once you go to the new channel design, you can click the edit channel art and then click upload photos and then select a photo from your computer. Select the artwork that you want there. It uploads, and when it uploads, it shows you what it's going to look like on the three devices. So on the desktop, it's going to look like this. On the TV screen, it's going to show all the background and other elements that I had. And on a phone, it's going to look like that. And you can adjust the crop by clicking this link here that allows you to move things around a little bit, but it's not really very precise. And if you like what you see there, you can click Select, and it'll make this your current artwork. We're not going to do that because I've already selected that. What I wanted to show you is the first artwork that I created using the template that YouTube provided, but not knowing about moving this thing over to the right. So I'll show you how that looks. We click that, click Edit Channel Art, choose Upload Photos, select a photo from your computer, and this is the first channel art that I created. And it looks okay there, and if I click Select, it tells me that it's saving it. And now look at it. 
You can see my channel icon picture lays on top of my name, and that's not the way you'd want other people to see it. In fact, it breaks a lot of pieces of the art. You can't read all the text. It overlays things here. So what you really have to do is you have to design it for a narrow screen because a lot of people will be viewing your site with a narrow screen, and you can see how that really breaks things up. If I had just tested that on a widescreen, I wouldn't have known there was a problem. But as soon as you move it in, you can see what happens. It's moving the name underneath the image there. So once you do that, you'll definitely want to go in and change that. Mouse over the little pencil, choose Edit Channel Art, select Upload Photos, select a photo from your computer, choose artwork that you know is going to line up right, preview it to make sure the pieces show the way you want, and then choose Select. And then there is Save. Now, if you look on a widescreen, you may be thinking, well, it would be better if I move this over to the left and if the image were here. But you don't really have control over that. What you do have control over is what it was looked like on a narrow screen. And so that's the way it looks when the screen is narrow, and that looks pretty good. Anyway, I did that using Photoshop Elements. And the first thing that I did was download the channel art spec, and I put it on a layer on top of my background. I change the opacity of that channel art spec so I can just barely see it. That allows me to put the text elements within this box where they need to be. Now the one thing that they should have included here would be another box right here that tells you that's where your channel photo is going to be. But anyway, you can see how that works and you can end up with something that looks like this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.